wide day, wide friends, and a very happy first birthday to Widefort. As I mentioned, the end of January marks the Wideversary, and the first Wide Jam that I hosted to celebrate it was a delight. Even if it was small in scale, I still consider it a success in that I had a hand in spurring on some map creation. So let's go take a stroll through the wide results of Wide Jam. The event kicked off with some spinner wheels to draw a game mode and the themes, and the fates dictated that the first wide jam would be a Smismus Forest Capture the Flag map. I set right to work on stream that day alongside some others. My goal for this was to practice knocking out a map quickly and fine-tune some things that I'd been meaning to learn or work on. I know that this map jam is tiny, but I was busy with IRL stuff when TF2 maps did their 72 hour map jam, and I was bummed that I missed it, so I just did my own. Regardless, when starting a jam or working under a tight timeline, I believe that the best practice is to make a clear plan early and stick to it fairly closely. In this case, the first few ideas that I had spitballed together was a frozen lake with a cabin on either side for a base. The lake would be the main route, and since the water is icy cold, it would damage you as you swam. Fairly early in the process, one of my chatters suggested a yeti as a stage hazard, and that really started pulling some things together and eventually evolved into the yeti train. The first day was dedicated to blocking out the initial geometry and getting a sense of the layout. Later in the day, I added another route across the lake through a boathouse, and ended the day with a pretty decent layout. Ultimately, going up the cliffside and dropping down past the tracks is a bit of a fast route to intel, but balance wasn't really my biggest concern, and it isn't extremely game-breaking. So I went on to day two feeling good about myself, but I also knew that I wouldn't be making as huge of strides as the first and third days. I started out with the logic for the flag, spawns, and the train. Originally, I was planning to parent push triggers to the side of the train to knock people into the lake below, but push triggers on track trains don't work for some reason or another. That's fine though, not every plan pans out perfectly and I'm still really happy with the final train. That ended up taking a couple of hours. Then I did displacements for the other six hours. I know that I probably could have spent that time better, but I hadn't done a lot of displacements like this before and wanted the practice for Cobble Crag. Plus, I think it helps sell the forest theme to have the displacements in place, even if they are... pretty gross. I did a little patching with some props later, but it's a situation where good enough is just about good enough. And finally, Day 3. The previous day of tedious displacement fiddling had left me a little bit wiped out, but looking forward to a day of fun and light detailing got me jazzed to finish on a high note. I got started on detailing the cottage buildings, and it was by now that I was really feeling the lack of stock Smismus props. I was able to use some manor props to good effect, but I was really missing out on some of that Smismus cheer. To that end, I started stringing up some cables around the cottage, knowing that they'd be strings of lights in the Smismus event settings. This was kinda tedious, and to top it off when I copied the cables, they turned into a real mess of spaghetti and I just kinda scrapped the idea. I had been spending a lot of time on this the past few days, and I was really starting to feel the tired building up. It was the final few hours, and my Smismus cheer was critically low. The forest theme of the map was fine, but the only things to suggest Smismus was a few presents and coal in the cart of the Yeti train. And then, desperately in need of some holiday spirit, inspiration struck. Merry Smismus, Charlie Brown. The Smismus spirit isn't just to be experienced alone, but shared, and the very same is true for a jam. So let's have a look at the other two entrants and winners by default. There may have only been two others than me doing this, but there's something satisfying about three people making three maps over three days that tickles my brain just right. First to submit their map, Emzeal gifted us with Smorist. It's a bit basic and unrefined, but there are a few parts that really shine for me. The center area around the giant tree is fun to fight in and around, 
Plus, there's a nice twist to the CTF formula that I think really fits the Smithmas theme. Not only are the flag models swapped for presents, but on Smorist, you take the flag from your base and deliver it to the enemy. It's an entertaining twist on the CTF formula that turns it from a game mode of theft and greed to one of aggressive generosity, as the teams frantically try to gift the other players whether they like it or not. The other entrant came from Sev, who has graced us with Boreal, which is a hectic and dangerous scramble along sheer cliffs. Sev was also the only one who packed in custom assets for his map, like the Tinsel and Snowmen. There's enough height variation to break up the stretches that might otherwise become boring, narrow chokes, and the cave above the S-Bend provides a good spot for snipers and NGs to hold a decent defense. Though I may have my misgivings about how easily you can slip off the sloped ledges, there is something in that secret sauce that Sev cooked up that really hit with people. I know Sev has plans to keep updating this in the future, so I look forward to seeing what Boreal evolves into. This map also just ran away with the fan favorite vote, so congrats on striking up the crowd. And that was Wide Jam. It was small, and I think that next year I'll see if I can swing some more enticing rewards than keys if I can afford it. But either way, I had a great time, encouraged some creativity and other people, and got a handful of fun new maps out of it. I consider it a great success. However, that's not all I've got for y'all today. In the lead-up to Wide Jam, I finished up the newest Food Fight beta, and an update to Cobble Crag. So here's a surprise Wide World devlog. Food Fight has been undergoing some meticulous beautification on my streams every Wednesday on Twitch, at Queen of the Rhine. Check me out. Since the last update, I've done early detail passes of the mall, the apartments, and the team bases. In the mall, advertising and decor adorn the walls, the elevator shaft launch now has an elevator in it, and Out of Bounds has been blocked out more clearly. The apartments now have a proper interior, a small public space out front, and a cafe down below. In the base, you spawn inside a faux CD motel with a retro exterior that I'm very proud of and just out of bounds of the intel room is a large laser gun that raises up through the ceiling when your team wins. I'm thinking about including that better in the story of the map, something along the lines of you need to steal your opponent's health reports and secret recipes to broadcast them to the world. In addition to Food Fight, I've been working on Cobble Crag. Previously, the theming was a bit nebulous, kind of a mine with a big missile, but I've been rethinking the theme a bit, and I'm closer with the turbines, I believe. The center point will get worked on next, most likely, but for now, the lore is that whatever you mine up around the center point is refined through the pipes and water machinery kibble, and is eventually fed into the generator at the team point. In addition to the theme, I've been working on smoothing out the routes in the base, enlarging the team yard, and expanding the center underground a bit to move the resupply packs further away. And that's all the wide news. I'm already looking forward to next year's wide jam, and I hope that you'll hop on the community server to check out Smorist, Boreal, and Yeti Lake, and hit up the Discord to keep up to date with the wide world development. I've also been streaming on Twitch more frequently. Every Wednesday I do some hammer editing, and on Fridays I game. Thanks for watching, subscribe for all the wideness, Merry Smithmas to all, and to all a wide night.